heading to Miserable Bay. That's Lake Superior right there in the background. I'm up on top of the hill here on Misery Bay Road. Heading down there. We got a gale uh, warning in effect until tomorrow at 1 p.m. I think it is. So it says oh, 10 to 20 knots and then gusting up to 40 knots with 3 to 6 foot waves on the on the lake. Doesn't even seem that windy here yet. Trees are blowing a little bit, but not much. I was thinking camp, of camping down here at the end of this trail, but we're gonna come down here and check it out and see what it's like. Check back in a bit. Well, made it out here. Uh, the trail was a little bit, a little bit sketchy with my small tires and non-lifted Yukon. But, made her through. I have to get a little bit of video on the way out. And uh, I'm gonna hike down to the bottom of this and look and see if there's a good spot down there to camp. If not, then uh, I've got a backup plan on a place to camp. Wow, you gotta always watch where you're stepping. I stepped and I fell in right there. And then this is a log right here. Now, if I had any amount of momentum, I could have freaking snapped my leg. So pay attention. Oh yeah, Misery River is really nice right here. I would like to have a kayak and start way up river and bring that all the way down. Be doing a lot of bottom, bottoming out, but that'd be all right. The river's just right over there, about 30 yards. However, I really wanted to uh, camp down here, but that trail is definitely not good enough for me to bring all my camping gear down here and then take it all back up. This would have to be a backpacking adventure here wouldn't be a bad place to to uh, set up a winter camp just like put your tent like right there and then you got the river right there all the peace and quiet you could ever want so anyways I got to hike back up that trail and go find my campsite I got enough time in the day to go back to the other spot it's only about 15 minutes away where I'm talking about over there on the Misery River by the bay. However, um, I don't think that there's gonna be much good firewood over there. Uh, for one, there's a lot of people that go through there and uh, camp at those sites and stuff like that. So over here, um, there is a lot of good firewood and I'm pretty sure it's all mostly maple. So I'm gonna gather a couple chunks of firewood and that way I don't have to go trekking through the woods all over hacking back to try to find two pieces of firewood for the night and not being enough and I can go right off of the side of this trail and get plenty of good hard dry firewood for the night within probably 15-20 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather some firewood and uh, find out, figure out somewhere I'm going to put it in the Yukon and then head over to the other spot and set up camp. So alright, check back in the lab. some more on the way out and see if I can find anything else. Well, let's load it up. 
wondering why I parked way up here away from the wood. Uh, that's a slight incline right there and it's wet. And I don't want the truck to sink into it at all. And then when I go to take off, I'm stuck. You gotta do a little bit of carrying is all. Yeah, see what I had to do to my thing? To get my saw out. To use my hand saw, but that's a lot of work. So make it quicker. I got the little cordless saw, chainsaw. But anyways, yeah, there should be enough. Like four foot lengths, a little bit more. Plus I got these ones right there. Those are four foot lengths or so. All right, let's get the heck out of here. All right, this is right here at that parking spot. I'm just sitting on the trail now, right after I loaded my wood. Hopefully it doesn't get too hairy. wasn't really that spectacular but it was still kind of fun anyways I'm gonna look for a couple more chunks of wood on the way out to that other campsite and I'll pick it back up at that other campsite all right here we are we're at the uh, campsite close to the mouth of the misery river right at misery bay it's supposed to have some gale force uh, winds tomorrow gusting up to 40 knots so uh, that should be pretty interesting right here, right through there where those two trees go away from each other. That's a pretty good spot that the wind can just come whipping in here. <coughs> These are not going to be easy to get out. The ground's pretty frozen right now. Trusty stove, my financial outdoors. Really easy to set up too. Love these chimneys. Yeah, these chimneys are really light and compact. Easy to go backpacking with. And they're pretty easy to set up too. put the damper on which is the hardest part I think it's actually not really that hard There we go. So this isn't something that I normally do, which is put uh, guy lines on my chimney. 
because normally it's more than enough support to hold it into place with just the tent right there roughly halfway up but with these uh, 40 mile per hour or 40 knot uh, wind gusts for tomorrow morning I think I'm gonna want to have a little bit of extra security with it I just wanted to get it set up so the guy line comes out away from my door right there. I don't want to be getting clotheslined by this thing in the middle of the night. So I'm going to hammer some stakes into the ground and uh, that'll be that for that. And I'm going to get the rest of my, my gear inside the tent and uh, I'm going to make some coffee in a little while. Right now we got some pretty mild temps but it's uh, with the wind that's projected for tonight and tomorrow morning. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty chilly right here, so I'm going to definitely get some snow built up around all the way around so no wind gets in. And that'll help keep it a lot warmer. Just coming down to the beach here. Take a quick look at uh, what Superior looks like right now. This is Wednesday. Oh, I'm not even quite sure what time it is. It must be like 3.30 or so. A big old chunk of ice right there. Oh, look at that. Big old freighter out there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll have to zoom in on it. That's a big boy. So yeah, one of the locals was telling me that an ore boat was anchored up over here. And I guess I didn't realize that's what he meant by an ore boat. It's one of the ships that hauls the ore from, I don't know, probably Minnesota or Wisconsin or something on their way down to the lower lakes. Well, I guess I better get back, finish coffee, and uh, make some dinner. I got some kielbasa I'm going to have on some hot dog buns. All right, coffee's done. Hopefully it's dark enough. I don't have a problem with this thing. For some reason, I can't get the coffee to darken up that much. And I'm not understanding what's going on here. So I figured I would percolate it longer. It looks a little darker, but still still on the light side. Either way, it's warm and it looks good. Alright, I'm going to step outside and drink my coffee. Want to have a cup of coffee here? Well, I finished that first one really quick. I only had it about 10 minutes at the most. Time for the second one. Hopefully there's enough for a full one in here. Ooh. 
Hmm. Well, that's not good. It's only a half a cup. I put more than two cups in there. And I figured the extra I put in there would have been enough for this, the, you know, the amount that's going to steam out and the amount that's going to stay in the coffee grounds. That's saddening. But at least I got some more. So I'm going to get this firewood all stacked up. I'm going to get some more of my camping gear in here. Get my uh, bedding laid out in a little bit here. And uh, stir some dinner. Starting to get hungry. All right, here we go. Going to start some dinner. So this is what I'm cooking. Bullworths since 1915. They're actually a local company, not too far from here. Right in Hancock, Michigan. Probably about 25 to 30 minutes where I'm from, or where I'm at right now. I'm gonna save some of this for breakfast tomorrow. That's right, I'm using my uh, bush spatula. I just carved in that last video. This was originally a piece of firewood. Dinner's cooking. I just came outside. It's raining. A little bit of sleet right now. But here's another shot of Superior at Misery Bay. Figured I'd come down to the beach and uh, get another quick shot, see what's changed. Not much, it's about the same. This is right at the mouth of the uh, Misery River. Right there. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll bring my tripod so I don't have to hold it. Neat. All right. I'm going to go back and eat dinner, and I'll be back out here later on. Well, they're a little dark in areas. It looks like I was down at the uh, beach for a little too long. But I'm just going to grab one of these bad boys up and stuff it in a bun. Put a little mustard on it. And go to town. Oh yeah, there we go, dinner, easy too. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, here's the third and final one, unfortunately. Hmm. I could eat like three more of these things, they're freaking delicious. Love this brand. Mmm. Mmm. Man, those are good. I truthfully don't know if the rest of that's going to make it until breakfast. I do have some bacon for breakfast, so it'd be nice to have some of that, but... Two nice big pieces in there I could eat right now. It saved a little bit. I think I might just do that. That's nah, good. Yep, I caved. That's one, I swear. Mm. That was a good dinner. 
just regular old chips and uh, kielbasa, but it was good. All righty. All right, well, I was planning on waiting longer until I light a fire. It's pretty chilly in here, so I don't really need one, but uh, it's nice to have one. Hopefully I don't run out of wood. <laughs> so here's that birch bark that I picked in my last video. And I forgot to use to start my fire that night with. So what I'm going to do here is rough it up, break it into smaller pieces. And I'm going to attempt to light it with my... Uh, my fire starting rod, mag rod, or whatever it is, I forget. And I've got a whole bunch of it here. A whole peanut jar full of it. So, once this gets going... Then I'm going to try to... I'm going to attempt to grab a hold of this and put it inside. I just think it'll be a little bit easier to do it out here and to see, if that's for sure. I also got my wood chips as well. Transfer it into the stove without spilling it. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. That birch bark is awesome. It wasn't even that much either. Ooh, smoky in here though. Got the damper open too. Probably because the chimney's cold. Smoke's not wanting to go up the chimney. Well, got that going. I'm going to make sure and keep it going, and uh, as long as I got enough firewood. Just sitting here relaxing by the fire. out there on the on the beach right now they're pretty loud I'm gonna go out and check on the uh, the weather situation out there the rain stopped for now we'll get some uh, video of that freighter with all his lights on that would be pretty neat and then come back to the tent I'm gonna calm this fire down I don't want to burn up all my wood Make sure I got plenty of wood.
there's the freighter. Zoom in on it. Turn my light on for you. Yeah, can't really can't really see much, but uh, you can tell there's not a whole lot going on. All right. Well, that'll be about it. I'll probably check in in the uh, tent once or twice before I go to bed, and, uh, and then it'll be morning. That's it for me. I'm going to bed. I got plenty of wood for the night. I was worried for nothing. Uh, but, yep. I'm going to get up early. And get some video of the Gale Force winds. That ought to be interesting. Alright, good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. about quarter to five right now. I don't know if those gale force winds really picked up because uh, it's not that windy right here. But I'm going to get the spider going, make sure it's going good and uh, I'm going to go out to the beach and check on the beach and see what that's like slept good last night. I didn't even keep the fire going at all. There was still a, pretty, a couple pretty hot coals in the bottom of the stove. So that's good to know. Alright, I'll check back in in a bit. morning coffee is on should start percolating pretty quick here now I'm gonna enjoy some coffee start some breakfast and also go down to the beach before daybreak okay coffee's done breakfast is going on The coffee pour. Oh, yeah. A cup of joe, anyone? It's a beautiful morning. And the best part. Well, the bacon's on and sizzling away. Let's see if I can precariously set that lid right there. <laughs> set that out. Now, now's about the time I should be putting my potatoes in, maybe a little sooner actually. But, yesterday, well, was, or not yes, was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday, I was preparing stuff to head out here yesterday. Well, I cut up all my potatoes into nice little square chunks so that they'll cook fast. And I froze them. And then I put them in my uh, 
put them in my lunch bag to bring out here and uh, as they thawed because when I grabbed them out of the freezer they were still good but as they thawed they started turning brown or green or whatever and so I guess I'm not going to use those I don't know if they're still good to use or not but I'm not going to chance it if something looks bad don't eat it So, I guess it's bacon, a little tiny bit of uh, the kielbasa left over, and eggs this morning. It's plenty good enough. Alright, check back in a little while. Mmm, coffee time. <laughs> Just heard the first little bit of snow slide off of the roof. Snow's finally here. I'm going to set <clears throat> breakfast off of the stove and I'm going to take a ride down to the beach. See what's going on down there because the wind has picked up a little bit. Not much right here, but I think I'm kind of blocked some. So I'm going to go out there and check it out. Not after enjoying a little bit more coffee. <sighs> Figured I'd give you a ride from camp to the beach. Snow's coming down pretty good. As you can see, which is nothing, it appears that that freighter left the ore boat. I'm sure I'd be able to at least see a little glimmer from their lights. I mean, they're lit up like a little miniature city. Alright, well, I'm starting to look like Frosty the Sailor Man. And this is wet snow, so I better get going. Figured I'd take a quick video of the walk up. Can't really see much, but the Yukon's lights over there. Short little walk. And there's the Yucatan! Sitting there purring, nice and warm, waiting for me.
see the glow. Oh, you should be able to see it too. The tiny glow. Going to finish breakfast. Second coffee pour. So that's pretty wild. I just came out of the tent and uh, looked out towards the shore and just realized the the freighter is like right here. It moved. Oh, it's not showing up very good. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I'm right at camp now. Pretty crazy they moved last night, I wonder why. Yeah, so the freighter that I thought moved didn't move. In fact, what happened was there was another freighter that came in last night and needed a place to anchor. So that's this one right here. This is the second one that I could see from camp. And they're, uh, they're moving along. They're heading out to their destination, wherever that may be. Way down south somewhere, I'd imagine. They're probably gonna have to go through the Sioux locks and everything. And then, over this way, let's see if we can pick them up. Should be, there he is. There's the one from last night. Now I thought he had left. Because I assumed I was going to see his lights no matter what. Well, not no matter what. I just didn't think there was that much uh, snow and everything. Well, how lucky is that? Get to see two freighters. Both in Misery Bay. Let's see, where's the other one at? Come on, man. There he is. Now, when I first saw that one when I was at camp, he was definitely anchored. So they just pulled their anchor, apparently. He's moving pretty quick. Huh. Well, maybe he's not moving. He should have been out of my screen by now. I just went up and moved the Yukon, the plow truck come through. Let's pan over to the other one. The original. There they are. All right, that's about enough of that. Now in my hasty little rush to go and see that freighter that was just now moving, I spilled a little bit of my breakfast. And I singed my beard on the chimney. Urgh. But anyways, there's more than enough in there still for me. I seen that thing falling and I'm like, oh no, please save me some. And I've got plenty. Alright, well I'm going to eat. And uh, hopefully not get all excited thinking uh, anchored freighter is moving again. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to eat. Breakfast time. A little bit gritty from falling. And 
think any dirt got knocked in there, but I guess so. Had to put it back on the stove here to warm it up a bit. Put some of my French bread in my pan. Give it a little bit of a toast. That's right, I brought milk again. Yuppers. All right, well, I'm going to eat. Well, that was pretty good. Aside from the fact of the uh, dirt, the crunchies in my food. <laughs> oh, well. A little bit more minerals than I uh, was expecting this morning. So I'll wash it down with some milk. I'm going to pack some of my stuff up. I'm going to wait to take the tent down until a little while after daybreak. Just in case I want to fire for something. You know, just in case it cools or gets cold or whatever. Because I'm going to be out here until about noon or so. And it's about, uh, let's see, 8 o'clock right now, I think. Alright. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Here's the plow truck. Here we are, all done. All righty, camp's all packed up. I'm gonna go back to the beach and uh, see if I can get a little bit more footage out there. At the moment, I don't see the freighter. <clears throat> uh, I think the snow is a little bit too thick. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but uh, there's, uh, there's a good amount of snow coming down right now. Good and steady. It's really wet. So I'm gonna go see if we can see the freighters out there. Oh, there's that one. That's the one I could see from camp. And I can just barely make out the other one. Well, I found them. Just barely make them out. Waves are definitely starting to kick up more. Don't have no 40 knot winds yet though. This 
pan back over to this fella for a minute. experience at miserable bay um, it wasn't that miserable actually it was pretty uh, pretty nice so uh, like I said last last night I let the stove go out and that was fine until the morning and I wanted to get coffee going and breakfast so if you like the uh, video at uh, misery bay is what it's actually called and misery bay is near Toyola Michigan if you like the video like comment subscribe share to see more. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.